Hi guys, in this video we're going to go into a little bit more detail about translation. Uh, we're going to talk about the previous step briefly, transcription, and then ribosomes that create the polypeptide chains, talk about the start codons, the tRNA or transfer RNA, translation itself, and then the stop codons. Okay, so firstly transcription, this is the step that occurs just beforehand. Uh, it occurs inside the nucleus where a strand of messenger RNA is made from the DNA template. This uh, strand of messenger RNA codes for a polypeptide and then it comes out of the nucleus to the ribosomes where this polypeptide is going to be made. We're going to talk about the start codon, but before we talk about the start codon, let's talk about codons in general. So a codon is a sequence of three base pairs that codes for a particular amino acid. Uh, now the start codon is a three base pair sequence uh, that is at the beginning of the mRNA and it tells the ribosomes where to bind onto the strand of uh, mRNA. Uh, where to bind so that it's at the start rather than at the end of that or in the middle for that matter of the uh, mRNA. So this then starts off uh, this polypeptide or the pe peptide chain, a peptide being a string of amino acids. Now this start codon is always the same, uh, AUG, so adenine, uracil, guanine uh, and codes for the protein methanione. Now we'll just talk about tRNA because that's going to be important shortly. So tRNA is also a RNA strand, the ribose nucleic acid, uh, but different to the messenger RNA, this transfer RNA is a strand that brings the amino acid into the ribosome. Now there, it has partial bonding uh, throughout the RNA, which gives us this distinctive sort of uh, kind of like a three-leaf clover shape. Uh, and at the end or on the top of that three-leaf clover and the bottom in this picture, uh, you'll see that it has an anticodon. So we talked about the codons before, coding for the uh, amino acid. The anticodon is the complementary uh, basis for that codon. So, and they mix together. So you can see that we've got the CUC here, cytosine uracil guanine. So that guanine, adenine guanine anticodon uh, then has the affinity for that on the mRNA. Now at the other end of the uh, tRNA, uh, we have an amino acid. And in this case, the amino acid is leucine. And there's about, well not about, in humans, there's 20 uh, different amino acids. Uh, if you do a bit of maths there, you'll see that if we've got four options uh, for three different things, there's going to be more than 20 possibilities for the anticodons. Uh, so what this means is that there are multiple anticodons that code for some amino acids. Okay, now let's get into the translation or the actual polypeptide synthesis. Uh, so this occurs in the ribosome and we can see here we've got the ribosome We've got our strand of mRNA, messenger RNA, and we've got our tRNA. So the first thing is that we've got our, and this is just in blocks rather than in that three-leaf clover, uh, just for ease of um, diagram. Uh, so we can see we've got our anticodon on the bottom and our amino acid at the top. So this is a loaded tRNA in that it's got an amino acid attached to the top of it. So the Anticodon is attracted uh, because of its affinity for the codon down here, so AAG, UUC, uh, on the mRNA. So it's going to enter into the first site, and there's three sites within the ribosome, but you don't really need to know that, uh, into the first site of the ribosome, and it's going to bind with that codon. Then what's going to happen is the amino acid uh, so in this case, the uh, phenine, I think that stands for, um, is going to attach to this polypeptide chain that is already created. Uh, it's going to attach, creating a peptide bond between those two amino acids, and that's why we call it a polypeptide, because it has many peptide bonds attaching these amino acids together. 
uh, and it's going to attach there and move into that second position. Uh, then the uh, amino acid is going to detach from the uh, tRNA. So here, the, what's about to happen is this uh, lysine is just about to detach from the tRNA here. Uh, and this tRNA will then move from the third position out of the ribosome uh, and it will be empty or unloaded. So it no longer has this amino acid attached to it. Uh, it's going to then go back out into the cytoplasm uh, or the endoplasmic reticulum, depending on where this ribosome is located, uh, and it's going to then attach to another amino acid ready to continue this process again. So what this does is give us this peptide chain that grows and grows. So at the start, we've got our methanion, uh, our start codon, and then it continues to grow and grow. Now this peptide chain could be as short as 50 amino acids, or it could be as long as a few thousand amino acids. Uh, when it gets to the end uh, and is long enough for whatever the polypeptide that's trying to be created, uh, there's a number of stop codons. Uh, so these stop codons are found at the end of the messenger RNA and they signal that the polypeptide is complete, it's finished uh, and nothing more, no more amino acids need to be added to this uh, chain. So what they do is rather than uh, have an affinity for a tRNA, they have an affinity for a release factor and that release factor comes in and blocks this process of growing the chain, thereby breaking the chain off um, from the ribosome and the tRNA so that then that polypeptide chain can be released uh, and then the ribosomes detach from the mRNA and ready to do this whole process again. In this video, we've looked at transcription being the creation of mRNA from DNA. We've talked about ribosomes being the proteins responsible for creating polypeptide chains. Uh, we've talked about the start codon, methanion, being at the AUG at the start of the mRNA that signals this to start. The tRNA being the uh, molecule that brings that amino acid in to the ribosome and in the right order because there's an anticodon that meets up with the codon on the mRNA. Uh, the translation process uh, being that it brings that amino acid in, the amino acid forms a polypeptide bond with the chain that's already started forming, uh, and then the tRNA leaves the ribosome until we get to the stop codon, which codes for a release factor, which comes into the ribosome, blocks everything up, breaks off the chain, and then the ribosomes detach. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.